there is absolutely no way Yasaki's team is about to lose against Kunigami, Chigiri, and Reo's team. But it just feels so bad because we did all that work to get King Baro. We're not going to lose. Plot-wise, doesn't make sense. That means we've got to take one of them. It's going to be Kunigami or uh, uh, Chigiri, right? But then Reo's going to get cucked again, not once, but twice. Unless we take Reo, which would be the craziest plot twist, but it doesn't make sense to me anyways. Let's begin the reaction. I mean, we do have a, we do have a little bit of a friction going on. But again, what, what, what did I say? Whoever gets the lead first usually loses. That's what happens in most of these sports series. Donkey? Wait. <laughs> the episode is called Donkey. Are you serious? That means Isagi's gonna pop off. <laughs> it's called Donkey. Right, show me. New field vision. Wow, amazing. I don't know. Something's funny about their eyes looking like a. What's the word? Like lighthouses, towers like that? And then, get in his blind side. Easy, our new skill of knowing how people's eyes work. Because what Rin said, do you know how eyes work, dude? I'm like, no, not really. The king doesn't care. But it doesn't matter if he just scores. Come on, man. Arlo, that's not very king-like of you. You should have just forced the goal. Mm, he won't even play defense, will he? I don't think he will. And he's got Kunigami's got that new shot. It's like a knuckleball shot where there's no spin. Is this the one? No, it's not. Is it though? Bro, it's already 2-0. Was what, it, does it, is this first to five? I think, or was it first to three? Um. Uh oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. Remember, whoever gets the lead first usually loses. Nagi's starting shit with the king. But Nagi is in the right. Baro's being very difficult to play with. Bro, you didn't even score there though. Off Michael, he does. He would rather lose if that like. It, as long as he can score, he doesn't matter. But if he won without Baro scoring, then Baro doesn't care. That's like the worst type of teammate. But come on, you gotta. Baro, come on. Uh, you're better in this, right? Lead this team. Wow, he's actually being like a actual leader. Huh? What is this? Uh huh? What is this? <laughs> Don't pass to borrow that it's over. Really? There's no possible way? Don't show me another... Yeah. There's a lot. Okay, just play around Nagi then. Yeah, ignore borrow for now, I guess. That trail of the skeletons, that's kind of eerie. Kind of reminds me of the... Uh, didn't Rin have those kind of uh, imagery when he was playing? Like, this battle is a war zone. Hmm. Because he's going to do his crazy catch and then turn around. Boom! Dude, his back heel catch is so insane! It's like... Do people actually play soccer like this? Can you catch the ball like that? I've, I've seen people like catch it the back heel, but he's doing like a twisted one reverse back. I don't even know, man. Goal. Nice. So just play around Nagi. But the moment that they realize, okay, we gotta stop Nagi now, then Baro gets opened up. Maybe we can play around Baro, Baro then. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, dude, when we look at you, all we see is a trail of skeletons. Like, please help. See? He's like he's being very reasonable. And what's Baro say? Shut the fuck up, you donkey. <laughs> okay, dude. I mean, it, it's very unreasonable. It's not a team player at all. But if you think about the core values of Blue Lock, being the ultimate egoist, Baro has that. But if you are gonna be the stubborn, fucking score then. It's the king's away or nothing. Yeah. Huh. That's an interesting philosophy. It's his way or nothing. Like, I don't care if we win if it doesn't mean he doesn't score, right? Is the donkey getting through to Baro? You're better than this. Maybe. Maybe. Baro will listen. Come on, you're better than this. Bro, we're complimenting you, man. You haven't scored yet. 
The one is yourself? Maybe he's gonna evolve. He's gonna evolve, dude. Give him some space. Let him cook, right? Let him cook. He's he's gonna he's gonna pop off in his own way. I don't know how. Here we go. What's up? What did you get? What? Because he's better than you, dude. Why are you so hung up? This is so, like, what a clingy ex-girlfriend type. Like, bro, get over it! You just explained why he chose Isaki over you then. <laughs> why did he choose you over me? And then he suddenly admits, I don't have any special weapons like you. Like, Chigiri will pass then, maybe. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And Rail's gonna get a goal? No way. Come on. Come on. Wait, that's a bit of a foul. No? I guess not. Alright, let him play. I actually don't know what constitutes a foul in soccer. It just seems like he kind of needed him in the back there, didn't he? So, are you saying we need to make Baru the donkey? We need to devour him. We need to actually force him to play around us rather than us trying to play around him because he won't even listen. But then, that's the problem in the first place. He won't listen. Okay, just him and Nagi for now. But we also said without Baro, we'll probably lose. This is a way to devour him? We're gonna just like neglect Baro and make him feel like left out and then he'll join? I don't know. Hmm. Look at the field of Baro. Is it still just a trail of corpses? But let's see. Huh? Wait, I thought... Okay, sure, I, I thought we were gonna just do Nagi just now. <laughs> Beg for a pass. Yo, we're really trying to make reverse the donkey situation. Wait, back to Nagi, I'm getting confused. We're like, Nagi, we'll play with you. Actually, we'll go with Baro. Psycho back to Nagi. Yeah, give him some space. It's, it's that... What is that? You threw like a scorpion, like hatch. And then they all team up on Nagi. Doesn't that mean that Baro becomes open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's open, kind of. Yeah. Mark by Kunigami. But that means Isagi is open. Isagi, back to Isagi. Hmm. Isaki is right at the edge. Get him. Oh, we're using Baro as a distraction so that Isaki himself becomes open. Direct shot. Here comes the goal. That was all. That was so many layers of baits. Nagi, actually, psych Baro. Psych Nagi. Psych Baro. Psych Isaki. Yeah, we used it as a donkey, dude. We used Baro as a decoy? I feel. I don't know. Because he's like, I'm the king, you know? <laughs> like, how dare you not even pass me, donkey? And now, the king has become the donkey. How does it feel? Devoured. Oh, here we go. Baru looks collapsed like shit. Am I the donkey right now? Nice goal. I don't know what he's thinking. Look at him. He's having a mental collapse. He's like, shit. Maybe I'm the donkey after all. Yeah. You gotta respect him. He got results off of that though. What do you think, Baro? He did. He did. You know, everybody's in awe. Exactly. Everybody's in awe of Isagi right now. And you know how Isagi all quite often like kind of puts himself down? Isagi is insane if you really think about it. Yeah, you just be the nice donkey that you are. And he can't talk shit either right now because we're getting all the goals. Donkey. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Dude, I. He called him a donkey! From the beginning, he's been saying, you donkey, donkey this, donkey that. <laughs> He's like, he's actually barking back. It's actually so funny. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Damn, he's trying so hard. Yeah. In terms of physical prowess, 
Varro isn't better? I think he's better. Damn, he's obsessed. He won't pass. No, he won't pass. No, yeah. I don't... I don't care if you can score, Varro, but... Fuck, dude. Come on. It's just frustrating to see the king like this. Isagi. Thanks, Donkey. We used you as a decoy again, maybe. <laughs> maybe? Because, yeah, if inevitably he'd get the ball taken away in 2v1, then Isagi himself could get open. This is actually so smart. We're actually using Baro as a donkey. Astinagi now. Here comes another goal. Nice shot. Boom! Is it 3 3 now? Hell yeah. Two more goals. Now, I still don't think that we're gonna win without Baro scoring. Like, Baro has to score one of these two goals. He's gotta evolve. He's gonna change somehow. Or else it just feels wrong. It's 2v4, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. What a good dynamic. You know, after losing Bachira, I was getting worried. But between Nagi and Isagi, they're quite the duo, too. I slow up. Just keep the speed then. Can you somehow maintain the speed while catching the ball? He's doing it, I think. Oh. Oh. So he is like maintaining the speed, so he's evolving too. Okay. I'm not sure what the disadvantage of that thing, but he's basically just like on the touch, just push it forward so he can maintain the speed. Baro, bro, you just look like a mess. L after L after L. This feels bad because I like Baro. I'm sure a redemption is in the making, but I think Chigiri's gonna get a goal now. Uh, one more and we lose, guys. Guys, team, hello? Are we gonna lose? What if we actually lose? What if we actually lose? No, we're not gonna lose. Look at this. He still got the green aura out. Baro, come on! Stop showing me that face! Do something! The best part, without a doubt, is when Isagi finally called the king a donkey himself. And that was hilarious. I popped off. But still, I feel so fucking shitty because Baro's taking L after L after L. That only means he's going to evolve next episode. I don't know what kind of evolution he's going to have, but he's got to adapt. He's got to get some goals, and we're going to win together, goddammit. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. Until next time, take care.